Hi, I've got a fabulous instrument to show you today. This is a Roland AT80SL, AT80SL. Now the SL is for AT80S Luxury and it's got some fantastic features on it. It's a really good instrument. You've got a colour touch screen which makes it very easy to navigate your way around. You've also got um, in the upper section four different sets of uh, voice areas that we can mix together and blend them with their individual volumes. And we have on the left, the lower voice sections, there's three lower voice sections. And one thing that Roland have done really well on this model is they give you an others button in each section. Now this gives you a lot more voices that you can pick up. Um, there's all together, you've got 421 voices. So we can pick up the voices and put them into any of the sections and then blend them with other sections too. So if I wanted a church organ sound, I've just been fiddling with this one. Um, if we go to the upper section here, look, we've got the others button, but we've also got uh, three pipe organ sounds, um, just as an example. So a pipe organ, the first one is very soft and gentle. Now in the pedals, I can put a really good pipe organ sound. Real rich sound. It probably won't come across as well on the recording, but to play, it's really exciting. The sound is really big and full. Now, if I play my left hand as well. A bit more volume. rich full sound. Now if I go to the others button we've then got loads more voices. I can change the contrast. It's just underneath we've got a contrast to change the, the screen so this is clear. I think you can probably see it. And if I go onto here we've got uh, pipe organ one, number two, And these can all be put into the others button. Let's go to seven. Fix. And the, the way that they've sampled the sounds is very realistic. And it can go to any section on the instrument. So let's go to theatre organ. If we go to the, the theatre organ button here, look. Number two. If we go to the other button and we go to the theatre page, we have um, lots more. And then you start to hear the depth of this is just one section, just an organ. So as an instrument, as an organ instrument for classical, for theatre, for jazz, it's all built in with loads and loads of options. But what we can do is there are features on the instrument that make it much easier to use. Now, um, one of the ones that I like to use on this main screen, again, if we exit back, we've got a thing called registration, okay? And this has got a section called quick registration. And when I choose that, there are categories. We have classical, jazz, movie and show, European. And I'm just gonna focus on two of those categories. We're gonna go to movie and show. Now, each of these are gonna have, this one in particular has three pages. So we've got eight on a page, so up to 24 different variations. And what this is gonna do, I can choose one. Let's go to memories. Well, that's a sort of play on words for memory from cats. We go to a different one. Let's go to charming. Now, charming is like Charmaine, the Glenn Miller, not Glenn Miller, the um, Mantovani sound. If we go to another one, let's go to the next page. We've got one called Solid Tibias. That's your theatre. Let's try another one. We'll go through to um, the next page. 
got At The Tower, that sounds a bit like a big sort of Blackpool sounds. <laughs> variations and another one I like on here is called the big finale let's put the big finale on and um, we'll try something for that one um... <laughs> powerful but just very very easy to play now if you're not into um movie and show let's try another category let's go to the jazz category and in the jazz i've got loads of more uh, registrations we've got one here oh george that's george shearing Sentimental, that'll be the Don Lusher. Now on the pedal, if I put it to the left, we can glide the trombone. So to the left hand side, put the note down, let go of the pedal. more to the effect of what you're playing. Let's go to one more, we'll go to Moonlight, that's gonna be the Glenn Miller sound. Really, really big settings. Now, if you don't want to play all the pedals and do quite as much work with your left hand and your foot, we can go into an even easier way of using the instrument. And this easier way, if we just exit back to the main screen, we can go into the, um, uh, the I can't remember who it is now. Each rhythm has a, a registration built into it. So if I go to the, the far left hand panel here, we've got a big band swing. And for rhythms of big band rhythms, you've got a choice of which full setup you want to use. And I can go through different pages. Look, there's um, there's four pages, big band swing one. So if we go to big band here, I've got a setup here. Let's see what this sounds like. I play my one touch program button and it starts, it's ready to go. It's flashing four different sounds to choose from. An intro's ready, uh, an accompaniment. It's got full chosen down here. And when I play my chord, listen to what happens. Brilliant. time to hear the intro and the ending coming through. Now, each of these styles we're choosing, we've got basic, two different advanced and full backings. And we can decide on how elaborate those backings are gonna be. We can also play the fill-in button 
and that will change it between two variations as well. So we'll try to the uh, waltz rhythm now. Let's go into the waltz and march section. Got a beautiful Viennese waltz. And again, my one touch setting button is down. Play my chord. <laughs> Really good, fun stuff to play. Let's try another one. We've got um, Dixieland. This is a great style again. It's all ready to go. same section called um, Foxtrot and again that works for like a slower version. Let's just try this. <laughs> Okay, so there's some really good settings in there. You just need to experiment, but they're all gonna give you all these variations just at the touch of a button. So this is the AT ATSL. It has three lower and four upper sections, loads of choice of all the sounds. It has some great variations in the rhythm section. Um, you've got uh, built into it a good set of pedal boards. You've got um, 20 note bass pedal board. This 76 note lower keyboard. So if you're into piano, you've got a, not only an octave shorter than a real piano to be able to play all your piano stuff on it. And um, it's a 56 note upper keyboard. So quite a good range of upper keys as well. So for classical and theater music, perfect. But for all your home stuff with your, your backings and your rhythms, it's really good fun to play. And, and being a touch screen makes it so easy and convenient just to flick through and find a good setting. So I would recommend this is a great instrument to go for. And if you want to part exchange your instrument, just give us a call and work out a really competitive prize for you. Hope you found that useful. Be back soon. Mm -hmm.